All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Okay, don't burn down the house. <laughs> I should get rid of all this stuff. No, go take a look at the stuff first. You didn't even look at it. I did look at it. Look goodly. I'm lucky. I should get rid of all It's saying I should get rid of it. I know. Natural sciences. Yeah, see, the stuff we already looked at. Archaeology. Hmm. The book on the chair? Okay, okay, no. <laughs> Hey, we ah, learned medicine. A dense uh, work aimed at interns and young practitioners. It's far volume listed all the illness is known in the civilized world. It's details of the symptoms and suitable treatment. Well, to be fair, they were just what? They just started discovering vaccines right around then. So, oof. Hope that thing's up to date. So, how exactly did that thing? Oh, sanity? Mental trauma. Oh, here we go. Hmm. There is sure is a lot of room for insanity. Or, no, it's it's sanity. It's fine. He's a veteran of the First World War, where um, he took place in the Minus Offensive. He is one of the last survivors of the Battalion of American Unions that suffered heavy losses from the enemy and Allied artillery fire. Forced to hold position for several days, surrounded by bodies of fallen comrades without food, medical supplies, the soldiers were considered as lost by their fellow countrymen. Pierce is traumatized by these events. He consumes large amounts of sleeping pills and liquor to or ward off the nightmares that still haunt him. World War One will do that to you. Uh, confident in your abilities and your Cartesian mind, you can conduct your investigation by sticking to the facts. Your convictions and your perceptions of reality, your conclusions are logical and reliable. We're stable, damn it. I mean... A man of science! I mean, it's, it's, no, it's, it's so close. Okay, so since I already got a boost in... Um, oh, you got two points? Okay, yeah, then, I got yeah two let's points. go ahead and pump it into the investigation. So but next time out. I get points, I'll, I'll add... Because we need an investigation more, right? Uh, oh yeah, you're right. So I'll put two into there and then two into there next, since we already got part way to the next level. Yep. Okay, uh, Darkwater. So here's my character profiles. Deceased. Charles Hawk. Wow, I already know what his face looks like. I guess it was in the, the cutouts he gave me. That's your superpower investigative skills. I always, I always remember the facts. It allows me to get my logical conclusions. Jeez. Charles Hawkins was a local celebrity on Darkwater. They are a shipowner family. He used to travel a lot. Met Sarah Hawkins on a trip to Paris. They fell in love, got married, and Hawkins took her to the remote. Uh, took her to the remote island of Darkwater. They had a child named Simon and lived a very secretive life. Well, look over that piece of shit. Only son of Sarah and Charles Hawkins. He died in the fire. Yeah, sure. That claimed the whole family. All right, and here is our main investigatee, Sarah Hawkins, a painter known for her tortured autistic universe. Artistic. I said artistic. Shut up. <laughs> she was worshipped, worshipped, worshipped for the strangeness of her work and the rarity of her public appearances. I seem to remember that she once said, "I paint what my dreams whisper to me." Her marriage to Charles Hawkins years ago surprised high society columnist, a wealthy Boston heiress known for her party going, chooses to follow her new husband as alive and rec as and live. I can speak as a recluse. Okay. Recluse. <laughs> On an island of dark water. She disappeared from the front pages of newspapers and no one's heard any more of her. Even her death and the fire remained a secret. Only her father will continue to seek the truth. Okay, to be fair, this is a blind entry for me, so... I was... I didn't do my vocal preparation, my vocal warm-ups. Oh no, you are screaming pretty good at 2K earlier. <laughs> the world doesn't need to know about that, okay? <laughs> uh, Pierce took the Hawkins case. Uh, the cursed artist is accused of... Ha and by the way, that game was... <laughs> That game could screw you over so hard, but enough of that. Uh, Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting on the shipping label, an address, a warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater. The place seems to be a starting point for Pierce's investigation. Chapter 2. Darkwater Port. Oh, how many chapters are we dealing with? I don't know. Maybe it's only two. We beat the game. We did it. I don't know why people keep playing this game. You know, it's kind of a ripoff, it seems. That, what, was it, what was it, 50 $60? Well, you said uh, Lovecraft Story is usually short, right? Uh, yeah, but I think this game's supposed to be about eight hours or so, is what I saw on the How Long to Beat It page. But uh, that was just the average time, so I could go above or below that. I think it's going to probably go above that since we're going to be reading all the context clues and just taking our time with it. Yeah. Lots of reading for Nick. Yeah, but you don't have to read everything out. You, you could go ahead and just kind of 
Well, okay, like no more stalling. Cliff notes of it. Yeah. Our foggy exploration music. We're on a boat. Let me see. This is pre-depression music. <laughs> that seems to be the right era for this type of music. Now, it says Focus Homes Interactive, but I believe it was actually Cyanide, who are the original guys who did it, but they were bought by Focus Home. Okay. Or well, was Focus Home another one of the studios? I, I don't know. I thought it was Cyanide who... Game by yeah, Cyanide Studio. I was thinking of the publisher versus the developer. Because uh, Cyanide was bought by Big Ben um, recently. And that's why I, I thought they would still be under Big Ben and not Home Interactive. Oh, there we go. James Fitzroy. Thank you for pointing at me. I wasn't sure. What a pre depression name. Wait, uh, what time is it? Uh, that was about, yeah, it, they did say it was 19, uh, Yeah, 20s. this is before the Depression, I think. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> I know history. <laughs> we never claimed to be a history channel, damn it. We are an inaccurate channel. Don't trust any of our words or all deception. We may mislead you purposely and accidentally. Believe me, we have the best deceptions. They're huge. <laughs> okay, so now we're in bumfuck nowhere. Darkwater Island. This is where all the happenings happen. There's guys coming to unload. Those boxes seem like they'd be heavy, but they're carrying them pretty easily. They're gonna throw their back out. They're not even lifting properly. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. James Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Ah, oh, here's where my my sweet talking does the Hawkins case. My eloquence you? works. Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman and a great painter. What a tragedy. Hmm. Yes, real tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink at the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. What the hell does As that mean? Me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. Look over here. Is it forcing if you to look the there? the Hawkins yes. family uh. that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. That seems like a good Understood. place. I'm going for a look around the docks. Instead of for games forcing you to look in a direction, I prefer if they actually had just the character point in the direction. So that yeah. way you would, you know, kind of... It feels more interactive that way versus being like having your neck... Okay, you're not going to like push him in the ocean, are you? <laughs> <laughs> or are you going to catch him on fire? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Fisherman. Okay, let's get I don't know if that's the smartest way to fish... Right by next the to the ship that just sailed in. It's probably not going to have the best Right in the shallow fish. waters. Okay, so... Well, shallow waters aren't bad for fishing, but... What do you think? Uh, he said to go to a bar first. Let's let's bar. Okay. Can I steal this lamp? Our character has a drinking problem. Because I had we need a to lamp fulfill a while his, ago. We need to fulfill his motive. Not his motive. His his calling. His destiny. His calling of Cthulhu is his drinking. Cthulhu's, his Cthulhu is... My Cthulhu superpower is drinking really okay. hard. <laughs> so you do the secondary things first. So go to the bar and talk to Bradley. Are you Bradley? He's Hello, not in Bradley. the bar. No, none of those are Bradley. I mean, those two guys look kind of similar. Look at his sweet mutton chops. Into the bar. Well, there's that. What a happy place. <laughs> I'll fucking take you, I swear. <laughs> Just... Yeah! Hey, be 
careful. <laughs> wow, he just took it. <laughs> you think at that point the drunk man would be very angry? Look at those pre-depression cigarettes. He's dry. In my Glass bar, we don't serve <laughs> troublemakers. <laughs> Let me see. Hall to test eloquence. I think it'd be pretty good. To test eloquence. To punch him. You're overdoing it. Yet you serve this man, and you can't say he's been on his best behavior. He's a regular. It was you who provoked him by turning up with your mainland manner. What? For just being he alive? I ask nothing more than to become a regular as well. Which will be difficult if you refuse to serve me. If you don't want my money. I hope you're less talkative when you're drunk. Did it work? Try me. <laughs> we'll see. There we go. There we are. No prohibition? Ah, Order it's a drink. prohibition. Nick, we need drink. Why are you so eager to get me wasted? He's an alcoholic. He needs to fulfill his duty of alcohol. No, I am a good Christian boy who doesn't drink. <laughs> You're clearly not, based on your office. Fuck you. I am a good Chris Christian boy. No I didn't prohibition? expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Uh oh. Our source of oh, it's prohibition. Like me to yep, that's what I said. To the first comer. I'll tell nobody. You can trust know me. It anyway. Anything else? Was it the lady in the corner? I guess I'll order a drink Captain to appease him. Roy told me about a little pit me up. There you go. Now you fit you in with the rest of the crowd. <laughs> I'm Dang I'm, it, come on! I'm a good boy! No, you're not! Uh, Your character is clearly not a good boy! But I am a good boy. No, you're a piece of shit! <laughs> Fuck you! Uh, order yeah, a drink, you coward! Good. I guess this bar is why are you, a long time. Why are you We're trying to call a Cthulhu Mythos game at a freaking? <laughs> are you trying to roofie me? I know, I'm kind of surprised with how eager you are to attack me right now. My whalers left for long months and came back sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Yeah, whale hunting is awesome. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Oh, you can trust me. No, you won't even order a drink. How can I trust a man who won't drink? It's not speaking ill if it's true. It's true that they're strange. Yeah. Well, would he be angry that I'm talking shit? Hmm. Hmm. I'd say the uh, they're strange. Yeah. Her style made her famous. <coughs> How would you describe it? It said. It Tort literally said tortured world. Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. There we go. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. Those aren't good Christian values. God damn it. What are you, a freaking Mormon? <laughs> Who can paint such things? This guy knows I'm Is a good Christian boy. So they made you feel uncomfortable. You need I to fear see God, for yourself. specifically Cthulhu. Make up your own mind. That sounds opposite of Christian. <laughs> okay, it seems. Is there any point in doing this? Oh yeah, we're finding out more information. Okay. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Okay. I've got what I need. Anything else? The where? Uh, my other option disappeared. Okay. Oh, there it is. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. <clears throat> if I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Okay. Why not? First off, there are rumors. What rumors? Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. <laughs> Screams, that sort of thing. You know, classic Cthulhu noises. And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. Hmm. But I'll say no more. 
Anything else? Okay. If we're going there, I think we should leave that for later. That'll be all. Because that seems like a spooky place. You didn't even get a drink. I didn't get a drink. I told you, Jay. What a garbage person. I'm a good Christian boy. And then he said, you have no right to treat us like this. And the doctor, what did he say? What did he say, Nick? What did the doctor say? My God. You say. No, go on. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. We've given okay. up hope. The crew of Skyla, or what remains of it, returned to Darkwater Port. Um, is this going to be important? This was uh, yeah, this is 1847. So yeah, 80 years ago. The super catch. Uh, returned to Darkwater Port late on Tuesday afternoon. The locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. Where they're amazed to find at the sight of the unbelievable catch of the brave vessel had on board. Oof. Uh, of a size that went beyond that of a formidable tooth whale. The Catician that is already being called the Miraculous Catch. Covered the whole deck. Parts of it were hanging over the sides of the ship. The surviving sailors told of a frightening account of mm. the perilous catch. But also of its meat, unmatched in quad, uh, quality and plentiful nutritional benefits. There is no doubt that the immense size of the whale will allow numerous inhabitants of dark water to feed themselves, bringing an end to the famine uh, from which part of the island was suffering. Okay, so they were already kind of starving uh, when they got the catch. Uh, warehouse for rent. Mr. Marks is putting up his warehouse for rent from June for fishing, workshop, or storage activities. You can contact him via your favorite newspaper or visit him on the docks. Now, is this actually uh, yeah, current 1847, or, or is that just an older newspaper? Cause... Yeah. So, Mr. Marx was apparently some dude, and 1847 seemed to be apparent, uh, important because that was the miraculous catch. Okay, to celebrate the return of the brave whalers, all at the staff of the Stranded Whale, invite you to an exceptional and free tasting event. Come with your family or friends to taste the miraculous catch. Each person will leave with a bottle of oil, so don't hesitate. Okay, yeah, that definitely sounds like the past. Uh, anything new in here? Or just kind of looks, uh... What does the cult do when you click the RT? Huh. Oh, that was a cult. No, okay. So, Thousand it was... people, places. Okay, it is under the... Okay, so it is under a cult, so cult thing. Places, Dockward Port, and this is the bar, I guess. No, this is my house. This is the bar. Uh, all that happens to the area seem to go there, and I even saw what to, looks to be a truce between bootleggers and the sailors. Okay, so all sorts of sketchy stuff goes on here. Uh, you know, in, in addition to the Cthulhu. Let's check out what the clues are. Uh, 55. <laughs> I can nail an age down just by looking at a man. Uh, prohibition holds no hold. Du -du -du -du. Okay, yeah, let's look at the clues. Wow, look at my zoom and vision. Oh, is this just verbatim what it said? Yeah. Okay. In inventory. Lost battalion. Oh, no. Okay, so that's where we served the wall. Nine yeah, it was 18. So it is like the... Nine years ago. Yeah. So it is 25. Or, no, no, it was 27. 27, 27 yeah. yeah. Because the catch was 80 years ago. Yeah. Okay. Hello, gentlemen. I'm using all my lighter fluid. I mean, it doesn't give me any sort of... Oil. Do you like our song? Yeah, it's pretty fucking neato. <laughs> We're true sirens. I like these guys. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. Uh, what's with the end of the whaling? Yeah, what, what caused it? brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. Dodge. <gasps> they all Gasp. disappeared. Just you disappeared? exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer Or did Cthulhu just eat them all? Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous 80 years ago. Exactly. What is I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. Hey, I saw the news. If you didn't fucking read it before, you don't believe it, do you? miraculous catch. Watch what you say. It's a whale. Man. What's hard to believe about yeah, whale catches? That seems kind of weird that you would. Uh, where's the proof? What? See, you're a man of science, Nick. 
Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger. I don't believe you caught a large summer. well. No, sir. Not at all. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. Oh, okay. And it was delicious. Kind of odd phrasing on that. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Was this super Good whale night, tainted with stranger. Cthulhu dust? So long. C Cthulhu juice. Now to talk to him. Hmm. Hmm. No, we'll save her for last. You gonna need a good drink in order to mark up your courage? No, I'm a brave man. Where were you <laughs> on June 25th of 1925? <laughs> Thank God you brought out her light, the lighter to intimidate her. <laughs> Here, let me light that for you, miss. <laughs> and then this bearded man just crawled up and just threw his lighter at my face. What you looking at, stranger? A beautiful lady. She can certainly put him away. Nothing at all. What is? Oh, that does. You can certainly put him away. You can certainly put him. I've rarely seen a woman who can hold her liquor so confidently. What gives you the right to judge me? I was giving you a compliment. Yeah. So what? Let me drink, stranger. See, it's because you don't have a drink. What if I harass you? I told you to beat it. Oh, she got me. Okay, we're gonna get kicked from the bar because you don't have a drink. No, you're good Christian. Good no, boy. you're not. Good boy, do not drink alcohol. You're taking an established story and then re rewriting this character. Just a joke around here. That suits me fine. See? <laughs> I would never drink, character. I could use a drink. Motherfucker, where's a coin? Flip for it. Man is wasted alcoholic versus man is clean Christian boy. Where's a coin? One sec. Apparently, well, we're going to flip for the roleplay purposes. Right What's the call? Cthulhu head. Okay, Cthulhu's heads. And the survey is. Um, I'm not. Okay, this one was the star Texas thing, and the other one was head. So. <laughs> He's a good boy. What? Fucker. It, Apparently, it's using weighted Texas coins. <laughs> weighted, big Texas coins. They're more Christian in Texas. <laughs> So no, he is the bestest of Christian boys. Now please hold with me while I, please bear with me while I hold in my disgust. Okay, so Fitzroy is the main objective. Who was Bradley? Bradley was the bar guy, wasn't he? Now was that you he? talk to her, go talk to him again. Okay, it was the bar guy. Yeah. It, was it not? No, that's Roy Mitchell. Who who's Bradley? Oh, Where? was Bradley the owner of the warehouse? Um, there was a door sure right there, or right there as well. This was uh, Fitzroy, which would progress the like story. Oh. I need to talk to Bradley, wherever the hell he is. Is he maybe in the crowd over there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's something. But go talk to the bar first. See if they can get him any more information about her. All right. About the mysterious cigarette lady in the corner. That's a good boy. 